Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Nicole Staley with a short word of encouragement. We know that we're all in a crazy time in the world right now, and it's easy to get overwhelmed, it's easy to get discouraged. So I'm here to give you five R's to stay encouraged and to stay sane. The first one is reflection. So think on good things. Philippians 4 and 7 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those, that's the only way that you're going to stay encouraged. It's the only way that you're going to stay with the praise is if you keep your mind on positive things. The second R is to relate. So you have to relate what's going on. It might look bleak, but relate it to another time where God brought you out of that same exact thing. In Psalms 37, it says, I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Everybody can remember a time where they thought they wouldn't be able to make ends meet. They thought that they wouldn't be able to find a job. And God always brings us through. So it, it's always helpful to relate back to those things that we can remember about our past victories. The third one is rehearse. So that's rehearsing positive talk, talking positively, thinking about the positive things, always finding the bright side in something. Philippians 4 and 11 says, I can do all things through Christ. Something may be hard, but you can remind yourself, I can do all things through Christ. You can remind yourself, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You can remind yourself, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? So always practicing positive talk, will always keep you in a positive headspace. The fourth R is retreat. So we know we always have our phones in our hands, we always have the TV on. So sometimes we just need to turn all of those things off, cut out all the extra noise, and just listen to God's voice, just read God's word. Because if you watch TV all the time and you're on social media all the time, all you do is get reminded of everything that's going on. You try to watch your favorite show and even they have COVID on there, even they got um, police brutality on there. So sometimes you just need to retreat into a private corner. And the last one is release. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Uh, Matthew 11 and 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So we know that we can take all of our troubles, all of our burdens, all of our anxiety, all of our depression to the Lord, and he will always deliver us. 